Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today is Wednesday, the 7th of December 2022. So, we made it halfway through this week, guys. Yesterday I went out and about. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Yesterday I dropped a video of my my uh, ventures out to uh, Walmart and Best Buy. Walmart, kind of a disappointment yesterday. Uh, they didn't even have uh, Kevin Smith's Clerks 3 on the shelf. Um, they had a spot for him, but they didn't have him out. Kind of disappointing. Anyway, uh, good news is Best Buy did. So, uh, yeah, let me share with you today what I picked up. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're staying safe out there. Um, let me show you what I picked up. Um, I wasn't going to get this one. Then I thought, you know what? I've seen this guy's work before. And I thought, I've, I've heard this is a blind buy, basically, until I read a little bit about it yesterday. But um, I've seen his work. He's worked on numbers of things, many, many things that I've, uh, I've enjoyed over the years. That's right. This is Paul Tippett. Paul Tippett, or Phil Tippett, excuse me. Bill Tippett, Mad God, Mad God Steelbook. Um, I got this um, from Best Buy yesterday. Um, Phil, Phil Tippett has worked on things as, as things we know. Star Wars, the trilogy, uh, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Robocop. Uh, he has worked on a whole bunch of stuff. Worked with uh, George Lucas many times. Um, he's won Academy Awards for his animation. He does mostly stop motion. Uh, yeah, Star Wars, Piranha, Dragon Slayer, um, Robocop, Willow, um, Coneheads. This guy's worked on a lot of stuff. This movie in and of itself has been in the works for 30 years. 30 years! When he started his own company, apparently he kind of put this on the back burner. But over time, he finally uh, <clears throat> he finally got uh, got he did a crowdfunding thing, where he raised over a hundred and twenty four thousand dollars to complete this movie. So uh, good for him. And so I wanted to check it out. It is a uh, uh, stop motion adult um, animated horror film. And uh, yeah. About 70% of the people that have watched this enjoyed it. And apparently there's some very unsettling, gory, a.k.a. gory, uh, moments in here. So, yeah, can't wait to check it out. Follow the assassin through a forbidding world of tortured soul souls, decrepit bunkers, and wretched monstrosities forged from the most primordial horrors of the subconscious mind. Every set, creature, and effigy in this macabre masterpiece is handcrafted and painstakingly animated using traditional stop-motion techniques. Mad God is a labor of love, a testament to the power of creative grit, and an homage to the timeless art of stop-motion animation. Ready your eyes, ready your spirit, prepare to meet your maker. Mad God. Let's see what this thing looks like on the inside. What do you say? Excuse me just a second. I should have had this open. I understand. I'm sorry. Should have had it open. Just got back from my walk and thought, you know what? Let's make a video. Let's get this done. So yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Nice. Nice shiny. There's the back, that menacing looking eye. <laughs> Ay, mercy. Of course, this is put out by Shudder, by the way. It is streaming on Shudder if you don't want to buy it, but you want to go watch it. It's on Shudder. Got some creepy looking guys there on the inside. There. All stop motion. Art on the uh, discs. Apparently it's a Blu-ray and a DVD. And a little advertisement here for Shudder. So, 
I'm excited. I can't wait to kind of check this out. Um, you know, looks good to me. Let me know if you've seen it and whether you liked it. And do that about any of these things that you see me showing you today. I'd appreciate it. Next up, it's my movie. They made a movie about me. <laughs> That's right. Old Man, Stephen Lang. Old Man. Not rated. 2021. 98 minutes long. It's a horror thriller. Um, of course, I like Stephen Lang. He's uh, He's been in a couple things that I've enjoyed, including uh, Don't Breathe. Don't Breathe. Stephen Lang, an old man. Deep in the woods, a lost hiker stumbles upon the cabin of an erratic and reclusive old man. What starts off as a cordial conversation soon turns dangerous, as it becomes clear that one or both of them might be hiding a terrifying secret. This horrific and poignant plunge into madness, starring Stephen Lang, who is also an avatar, uh, yeah, oh yeah, and Mark Center, Starry Eyes, is a mesmerizing thriller that you won't be able to take your eyes off of. Put out by RLJE. Nice little slip here. Same kind of artwork, but uh, nice slip. Old Man. Picked that up. Oh, I got that from Amazon, yeah. Um, creep, sh creep Show. The Shudder, speaking of Shudder, <laughs> the Shudder original series. This is The Creep Show 3, Season 3. Not rated, 2021. Four hours and 55 minutes worth. It's an anthology um, series. There are 12 tales, and these are all on Shudder if you want to see them. Uh, this is uh, evidently the fourth season is in the works. Creep Show Season 3 continues to provide campy chills. <laughs> I like campy, I like chills. Creep Show, the anthology series based on the 1982 horror comedy classic, is still the most fun you'll ever have being scared. A comic book comes to life in a series of vignettes exploring terrors ringing from murder, ranging from murder, creatures, monsters, and delusions to the supernatural and unexplainable. You'll never know what will be on the next page. Creep Show is back to make you go ooh with delight. RLG and RLJ E and Shudder. Oh yeah, uh, let me see, see who it stars. Ethan Embry, James Rimmer, King Bach, Jonathan Schlock, <laughs> Reed Scott, Michael Rooker, Mark Hamill, Danielle Harris, Ron Livingston, Andy Daly, Hannah Kippel, and Hannah Fearman. Mark Hamill. Amazing. Next up, adding a little comedy to my repertoire. <laughs> I've seen this these two movies a couple million times. I've enjoyed them. This is the 4K of 48 hours and 40 another 48 hours. Got this from Best Buy. They didn't have the individual ones, so uh, uh, what the heck? Consolidate. There you go. Another 48. Let's see. 48 Hours is R-rated, 1982. Uh, I watched that the day it came out. I can remember that. Uh, 1982, 96 minutes long. Uh, of course, it's an action comedy, a buddy cop thing. Um, and this this movie, the 48 Hours, launched Eddie Murphy's career. Literally launched it. Of course, you got uh, <clears throat> Nick Nolte there also. And then another 48 hours is 1990. So what was that? Eight years later, 95 minutes, R-rated. It's pretty good too. I like it. I liked it. So 48 hours, Eddie Murphy rocketed to movie star status and earned a Best Actor Glo Golden Globe nomination in 48 hours. The acclaimed action comedy 
that pushes the limits of both genres. Nick Nolte is unforgettable as Jack Cates, a rough-edged inspector on the hunt for two vicious cop killers. Unlikely ride-along con Reggie Hammond, played by Murphy, is given a 48-hour leave from prison to help Cates on the case. 48 hours and another 48 hours. Good stuff. Good stuff. If you haven't seen them, uh, check them out. Great laughs. Uh, crazy action. Uh, I can't wait. To, I personally can't wait to watch them again in 4K. Speaking of 4K, one of Quentin Tarantino's biggest, that's right, pulp fiction. I, I opted not to get the steel book. Um, I picked this up in uh, Best Buy also. I have opted not to get the steel book. I like this uh, cover better. This seems, I don't know, this is the original cover artwork. I like this. I like it. Of course, we got Bruce Willis. We got John Travolta. We got Samuel L. Jackson. Uma Thurmer, Thurman, excuse me. Uh, Pulp Fiction, R rated 1994, 154 minutes. It's a crime film. Yeah, crime. Uh, directed by Tarantino. About 90% of the people that watch this movie like it, on, at least according to IMDb. Writer director Quentin Tarantino's kick ass tribute to hard crime capers is also a pop culture phenomenon that redefined cinema. This director approved edition of the critically acclaimed favorite comes to 4K with HDR10 and Dolby Vision for the ultimate home entertainment experience. With its unforgettable cast of characters, hip, hip chart topping soundtrack, and edgy, incomparable style, Pulp Fiction took the world by storm, winning the Cannes Film, Fest, Cannes, Cannes Film Festival, spanning, let's see, spanning interweaving tales of low-rent hitmen, played by John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson, a gangster's wife, Uma Thurman, and a desperate prize fighter, Bruce Willis, with a stellar supporting cast that includes Harvey Cattell, Tim Roth, Amanda Plummer. It's a wildly entertaining and exhilarating adventure with violence and redemption. Paramount Pictures. Nice slipcover. Great movie. Can't wait to rewatch. I think my wife will probably want to watch this with me. So that's a good thing too. There you go. <clears throat> okay. I dipped into the Arrow files. This one I got from uh, um, Amazon. The Leech. Isn't it? The Leech. Yeah. Written and directed by Eric Pennykoff. An Arrow to add to my collection. Arrow video. This is not rated. 82 minutes from 2022. It's a horror comedy. About 60% of the people that watched it like it so far. So that's cool. From Black Christmas to Rare Exports, there has been there's been long a symbiotic relationship between horror and the season of good cheer. Now, writer-director Eric Pennykoff continues this proud tradition with The Leech, a cautionary tale about the perils of opening your door to a stranger. Father David, a Catholic priest struggling to fill the pews in his church, allows a homeless man, paid, uh, Terry, into his home to escape the December chill. But this simple act of kindness has under, unforeseen consequences when Terry's pregnant girlfriend, Lexi, also decides to crash at the parochial 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 house. I can I can talk. I really can. <laughs> Determined to save the warring couple through the healing power of God's love, David's ordered existence quickly unravels as he succumbs to the wicked ways of the parasitic pair. Will he pass this apparent test, or resort to blood-soaked Old Testament justice? Agonizingly intense and rib-tickling funny in equal measure, the leech serves as both a festive frightmare 
and a microcosm of the fault lines of contemporary America. Arrow, Arrow Video is proud to present this latest inductee into the Christmas Horror Hall of Fame. So there you go. If you're looking for something Christmas horror-wise to watch, The Leech, apparently, is what you want to watch. There are a bunch of special edition contents um, also. By the way, this is a, uh, a uh, Blu-ray, not a 4K. Now, probably my one of my favorite horror Christmas movies came out on 4K yesterday, and I did pick it up. Black Christmas. That's right. 4K Blu-ray of Black Christmas. Uh, R-rated, 1974. I saw this the year it opened. I was in college. I remember it like it was yesterday. Crazy. This is, by, by the way, the original uh, artwork, the poster artwork they had in the uh, movie theater. Morgantown, West Virginia. That's where I watched it. Black Christmas. Of course, this is uh, one of the... Oh, this is probably the OG slasher film uh, 98 minutes long has a cult following now um, but oh yeah when I saw this movie it's called Black Christmas now but when I saw it it was called Silent Night Evil Night that's what it originally came out at and then for some reason they changed the name to Black Christmas and I can't remember the story there but uh, yeah that's how I originally saw it. The college town of Bedford is receiving an unwelcome guest this Christmas as the residents of Sorority House Phi Kappa Sigma prepare for a festive season. A stranger begins to stalk the house. A series of obscene phone calls start to plague the sorority and it becomes clear that a psychopath has more than merriment on his mind. As the police try to trace the phone calls, they discover that nothing is as it seems during this Black Christmas. There are three discs in here. One uh, has all kinds of uh, special features. Man. Of course, this is a Scream Factory release. Glad to have this and put it in my uh, Scream Factory collection. Let me know. Have you seen Black Christmas? Or did you see it? as Silent Night, Evil Night, like I did. All right, and my last pickup. My last pickup. I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited for Clerks 3 on 4K. Yeah, I got the uh, uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Of course, Clerks 3 is R-rated, 2022, 115 minutes long. It's a comedy drama. Apparently this is, I haven't seen it yet. This is a very emotional, uh, has a third, uh, third act is very emotional, very heartwarming. Uh, reaches back and uh, all the guys are still doing their same old thing. So <laughs> kind of sad in that respect, I guess. But uh, I love, I really enjoy most everything that uh, uh, Kevin Smith has done. Let's open this up, take a look inside. What do you say? Oh, nice. Nice slippy there. Oh, Kevin Smith. J. Clerk. Clock back into the Clerks universe for writer director Kevin Smith's third entry of his iconic comedy series. Once again behind the counter of Quick Stop, Dante, played by Brian O'Halloran, and Randall, played by Jeff Anderson, are still hanging out with Jay and Silent Bob, Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith, handling quirky customers and sneaking off for rooftop hockey. But after Randall has a heart attack, he's determined to make something of his slacker life by shooting a movie about it, featuring Rosario Dawson, a host of celebrity cameos and Smith's signature humor, Clerks 3 is a hilarious and nostalgic capstone to the Clerks legacy, nearly 30 years in the making. 
released by Lionsgate with one of these sweet, sweet steel book covers. And then on the back, you got them smoking their big old doobie there. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, we got a digital code and some nice artwork also. Beautiful artwork on the inside, on the discs. Let's see here. Well, they got the uh, outside of the quick stop. There you go. Very nice. Excellent. Can't wait to get into that. So let me know if you guys have already seen Clerks 3, what you thought of it. And so, hey, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching my Out and About yesterday. If you haven't, please go check it out. If you like my videos, give them a thumbs up. That's right, a like. Also, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so that you know when I put up another video. So, if you haven't already, go back to Sunday's video. Sunday's. Don't, don't do it on this video or yesterday's video. But go back to Sunday's video and uh, use the word code word green in the comments. Watch the video, use the code word green in the comments, and you could possibly win this 4K of Shrek 2 brand new factory sealed. That's right, I'm giving it away to one, uh, one of the people that watch my videos. Thank you so much for watching. That's why I do these things, to thank you and give back. So, use the word green in Sunday's video. And this coming Saturday, I will be giving those away using the YouTube comment picker to pick the winner. So that's it from North Las Vegas. You guys keep smiling. Keep having fun. Keep that positive attitude about you. And until the next time, peace.